Hi guys! I didn't actually realize I was live yet. Um, thank you guys so, so much for being at the first ever Orphan Black live chat. And I know this is season four, but this is a show that I have watched. Um, actually didn't start watching it right when it aired, but I caught up pretty soon after. And I have loved it for, you know, a couple of years. I guess it's been on for a couple of years. Um, hopefully you guys can see me. I don't know why this happens every time, but I see like a an ad or a black screen and I don't know if you guys can see me but I think you can so that's awesome so um, if you are here just go ahead and say hey because I wasn't sure how many people would come to this live show since this show is it's been on for a while so if you know you have never watched before you were probably gonna have problems trying to catch up this quickly because I think I just mentioned it a few days ago that I was going to be doing videos and chats but anyway, I see that Ben is here and Nice is here. And I know Vanessa was here earlier. I don't know if she's back, but hopefully she is. Um, now I'm going to have to ask you again if you can see me because I have this big message that says an error has occurred. So I'm hoping that I'm not just talking to myself, which I totally could be. I don't know. Let me just ask you this way. Okay, good. You can see me. Um, Lauren, I'm hoping I'm saying your name right. Um, glad, thank you so much for being here and thank you for being here, Monica. This is, this is so cool that, um, a few of you guys came to this. This is awesome. So let's just go ahead and start talking about last night's episode. Um, one thing that was really cool, and I don't know if this is going to happen with every single episode, but we had our first ever live chat, um, show on directly after, Orphan Black, and I think it was called After the Black. So I thought that was so cool. I don't really watch The Walking Dead, but I know they have a very similar show, and I really loved it. I loved hearing from Tatiana and I think his name's Kevin, the detective. Um, I thought that was so cool, and I'm hoping that that's going to be something that happens after every Orphan Black, but I'm not sure if it was just for the premiere of season four. Um, so about this episode, I loved getting to see Beth. And to be honest, you know, she was pretty much throughout the whole episode. And to be honest, I was very sad when we came back to present day and kind of by the way they talked in the live show after, it seems like we're not going to get a lot more of Beth. We might get some flashbacks, but I really like Beth. And let me just give you um, a few seconds of appreciation for Tatiana. She deserves like all of the appreciation in the world. I think that Tatiana is so amazing because she plays all these different characters um, and I really believe that they're different people. And I just think that she's one of the most talented actresses. And I don't think she gets enough recognition by far because she just blows my mind like all the time. So also we met a new clone last night and that was MK and MK is kind of patterned after Bjork and she's a little bit bizarre and she has an accent and she has really crazy bangs and crazy hair. Um, but What's cool about her is that she's going to play a role in our present day story um, as well. And at first I was thinking she was the clone. If you remember, like way back in season one, there was a clone that was killed pretty early on. And I thought it might be her, but it's not her. So I don't know if we're ever going to get flashbacks from her or not. But as Nisa is saying, it was really nice to get to know Beth. Absolutely. Now, I think Beth honestly is a tad bit like Sarah. But of course, Sarah's British and, and she's probably more... She's a little bit tougher, I guess. Not, you know, not tougher. Like her, her personality is a little harsher, a little harder than than Beth's. But I also thought it was cool to see that Beth and what is this guy's name in the show? The detective guy. I cannot think of his name in the show. To see that they had actually hooked up because you know he had talked about her a lot, like in this series, and he really cared for her. But I never knew that they had actually hooked up before. Um, ben says that Beth is definitely one of his favorite clones. Um, Helena is your favorite. Oh my gosh. Helena kills me. I love her. Um, I love when she says like sea star, like I love that, but I actually really, thank you. It's art. The detective I actually really like Allison because I think she is so ridiculous and she tries to be like so perfect. And like Donnie, I think is creep. I don't like Donnie. Like he freaks me out, but I was kind of like, I kind of liked him last year because he got, like, cooler and, and not, like, he's kind of someone you can, like, walk all over, but he kind of dropped some of that last year, and I just, he cracks me up. Hi, Terrence. Thank you so much for being here. Hi, Tony. So I'm glad that a lot of you do watch the show. Hopefully you've watched it, because if you've never seen it before, you're probably like, what the heck is she talking about? Um, Lauren says that Allison and her husband are, are hilarious. I, I think they are so funny. 
Like, I'm sure that someone like Allison would be really annoying in real life, but I just really like her. And I really like Helena. So, um, but I like all of them. I mean, I even like, you know, I like Cosima. I don't know MK enough to know if I'm going to like her, but, um, and then we had that other clone that wore like the blonde bob, but is she dead? I think she might've died. And honestly, when I was watching last night and we were seeing like Paul and the flashbacks, I remembered that he died. And I was, I mean, it's, he's shady, don't get me wrong, but he's really good looking. And I was like, I don't know how to go on without him. Like, yes, he's not really that great of a person, but he's very nice looking and I'm not going to be able to deal with him being, um, away from the series. <laughs> then liked when Allison interrogated Danny. Uh, is that or Donnie? That is, is that when she like you um had him in her craft room and like put hot glue on him? That was so funny. I just think Allison is awesome. So but I want to know what you guys thought about this episode. Um this show is rather complex, I think, you know. Um there's a lot to it when they start talking about the Neos and all the different stuff that Dr. Leakey was involved in, it can get pretty intense. And if you've watched it for a while, there's a lot of different things to remember, a lot of different storylines. I think it's one of the more complicated shows that I watch and now I'm covering. So um, Nee says, enjoyed seeing some of the old faces again. Yes, absolutely. Um, I cannot stand Dr. Leakey, so we did see him. Thankfully, Donnie killed him, thankfully. Um, so we hopefully won't see a lot of him, but... Yes. Um, I love Beth's, or not Beth, but Sarah's little girl. She's so sweet. And as we saw in the end of this episode, like, they're, it looks like from the previews, they're going to have to burn down that place they were staying in. And they're going to have to be on the run because the, the Neo people know where she is and they're out to get her. So, and I also love Felix. I think Felix is awesome. So Ben says, I really liked how we finally got the full story on Beth shooting Maggie. Thank you. We actually saw what happened with the Maggie Chen shooting. Ben says it was nice to see a different side of Beth with the whole drug thing. So I, I assume that she was taking all of the drugs because of her illness, like the same illness that Kasima has, right? Isn't that what you guys think? Um, and as you can see, when she was going up to Maggie, like she couldn't even tell like who she was or what she was doing. It was all like blurry and crazy. So, um, you know, she didn't mean to kill an innocent person, but help me fill in the blanks here. What was Maggie Chen's deal? Was she just an innocent person or was she working with like Dr. Leakey and people? Because I've completely forgotten. Yeah, I actually think she's not really a drug addict. She was, um, I mean, she was snorting it and everything, but I think she was snorting that medication because it gets into your bloodstream faster and she was very, very ill. That's what I think. Like, you know how, you know how Kasima is like super sick. I think she was like on that level sick. And do we believe that she actually... Okay, so Maggie was a prolethian is what Nisa is saying. Yeah, I definitely think Maggie wasn't just some random person. That's kind of what I was thinking, but I wasn't sure. Um, and I guess Beth killed herself on her own, right? Or do we... I'm trying to remember that from the flashbacks. I know she like walked out in front of a um, subway train, but I guess no one made her do that or blackmailed her into doing that. I don't know. Um, right, so one of the religious killers from season one. Okay, that makes sense. And that was the... Gosh, this is getting real confusing here. Okay, so the guy, I can't remember his name. He had like all the clones, the other set of clones. And he was like with that younger girl. I think they got married. See, I've forgotten their names already. But um, he was with them and like his creepy dad. Those people were bad, like bad news people. Yes, they were completely crazy. Because um, I think like one of the clones was nice, like the one who married that girl. But then like he had like the, cra the crazy clone that was like super evil. I don't know. That was insane. So I don't know. Do you guys feel that way? Do you feel like there's a lot to keep up with and remember and try to um, dissect in this show? Because I really feel that way. Like you really have to pay attention. Ben wants to know if I think that we'll see more of the caster clones this season. Thank you. That's the guys. Okay. Like the blonde haired guys. Um, I really think so. Yeah. I've actually forgotten what happened. Um, did both, did the nice one and the crazy one die? And I know there's a bunch of them. And like Paul, he worked for what? The government? What was his deal? Do you guys ever forget parts of this? Because I have. Uh, Gracie, thank you so much. I'm glad that you guys remember these names and details. Okay, so the clone, Castor Clone and Mary Gracie was Mark and the crazy one was Rudy. Thank you so much. Yes, I definitely think we will see more of them. Um, I'm assuming they're both dead, I think. So we'll probably see new ones of them and who knows what they will be like. Um, but yeah, you're you're doing a great job, Ben, because I really think this is a show that is very hard to remember everything. 
Because it's, you know, to be honest, it's not the type of show I always watch or cover because it's science fiction. But it's also still a mystery in my mind because you never know, like, sometimes good people who we think are good people turn on the people. I mean, there's still things to figure out. So I think that's, you know, because it is. I mean, people are, like, chasing people and trying to kill people. So that's what I, I like about it. So Monica says, um, forgot a lot of the storyline. I had to look up things like Neo Lucian. So Neo Lucian, gosh, I'm trying to see if I can explain it or maybe you guys can help me. So these are the people that... Uh, Dr. Leakey's people, right? And like, what are the deal? What's the deal with the people who were getting that like bug in their cheek? What is the purpose of that? Because I've completely forgotten, but I know I feel like maybe did the caster people have some of that? I don't know. And why were they removing that from those people? Also, that girl, her boyfriend, I, I'm pretty sure they killed him, right? The one that they told him everything was going to be fine. They were just going to remove this and he would wake up. Pretty sure he's dead, right? So that's really sad. Kind of like the other guy who they dumped in the woods. Um, ben says, doesn't know about the bug thing. Don't think it's been answered. Okay. So I, I feel like we've seen that though, like last season, right? Haven't we seen that bug thing before? Because that looked really familiar to me. Um, so maybe that's something they're going to figure out this season. So the clone with the short blonde hair who was like corporate clone, <laughs> she's dead, right? I'm trying to remember like a lot of people died last season. Yes, Ben says we've definitely seen the bug thing. It's creepy, but apparently like that girl was saying, the girl from like the club, um, it starts out like it's this tiny thing and then it grows. I don't know. I don't know what it, what it's doing. I don't know what the purpose is. Rachel, if I didn't have you here, Ben, what would I do? <laughs> you know, like everyone, this is great. Is she dead? Is Rachel dead? Because she was like kind of evil, but I don't know. I don't know. I, just, I cannot, but can you guys believe that Tatiana plays all these people? I mean, is it just me or does she, those, do those people all seem like separate actresses? Because they do. I feel like the closest two would be Sarah and Beth. I felt like they were pretty close, but I don't know how she keeps coming up with new personas like of these people. Uh, oh, that's right. So Rachel switched places with the other clone and Rachel's still alive, right? That's what happened last season. I might have helped if I'd watched some of last season over again before um, watching this season. But I feel like I feel like it's been such a long time since it was on, and probably it hasn't been. It probably was on like last April. But yeah, Tatiana is just great. Like blows my mind every time. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think what else happened that we should discuss. Um, who do you guys? Who is your favorite clone? I guess I'll ask those of you who are here now. Who is your favorite clone and who do you really dislike on the show? I very much dislike Leaky. I'm so glad that he's gone. Like I said, I love Helena and I love Allison. Um, you know, I really don't like the woman who was, was kind of like um, Allison's, not Allison, so confusing. Sarah's mom like the one who took care of her little girl. I, I just don't know about her. Like, I don't know if we can trust her. Like sometimes she's very shady and then sometimes she's trying to be helpful. So I just really don't know what to think about her because she's definitely going to still be in the season. So Ben says Helena is definitely um, his favorite and really does dislikes Delphine. She's a bit of a backstabber. She died though, right? Delphine was the woman working with um, Leaky and she was... Cosima's girlfriend, and I believe she's dead. Um, Laurent likes Helena and Cosima and dislikes the guy clones. Um, Monica doesn't like Rachel. I didn't like Rachel either. Um, and yeah, I like Cosima. Cosima's like smart and cool. Yeah, I really think that um, she died. I really do. What's her name now? <laughs> I've already forgotten her name. Help me. Um, the, the girl with the blonde hair. Anyway, Cosima's girlfriend. Delphine. Very good. She was French. So that makes sense. Um, I think she died. Like, I really think a lot of people died last season because I, um, Paul died and Leaky died. Who else died? I really think a lot of people died. Um, it was pretty crazy. I thought it was a really good season last season. Also, I'm just wondering how many more seasons this show will go on because it seems like they just have to keep you know, coming up with these elaborate extensions of the show. And I just wonder if it's one of those shows that can't really go on for many more seasons just because it's, it's, you know, we're getting really elaborate with all the different clones and all the different roles that Tatiana is playing. Hi, Vanessa. Thank you so, so much for being here. Um, 
She wasn't shot in the head, but it looks like she's dead. So maybe that was kind of a cliffhanger that we didn't know if Delphine was alive or dead, but maybe she will survive. Maybe she will. I mean, you know, she was annoying, but I think she really did have feelings for Cosima. Like, I think she wanted to be good, but I don't know. Yeah, as Ben says, it must take so much time to film the show. Like, absolutely. I mean, I, I can't even imagine. I just, like, you know, I can't even imagine being Tatiana and getting the scripts for all the different people. And then when she's filming as the different people to not go off into another clone's personality, how does she do that? Like, I don't know, you know? I don't know. I just hope that whenever this show ends that she will get some amazing role or, like, a movie or something because... You know, I think she's proven so much about herself in this show. Um, niece needs to know if Delphine is alive, like, right now. Well, it's weird because I forgot that it was kind of a cliffhanger, and usually those are always resolved, like, in the first episode of the new season, and she literally was not mentioned. Been like the drug dealer thing with Allison last season. Yeah, I like that, too. Definitely. Um, that was kind of, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing either. Is he still alive? I really don't know. Uh, or that drug dealer, like they, they drag Donnie in there. Are those people, did Donnie kill those people? I mean, my mind is like blank on some of this stuff, but that was so funny. Really funny. Um, and did Allison get elected as that whatever she was running for? <laughs> neighborhood, neighborhood watch or something. Yeah, you're right, Vanessa. I did kind of feel like a pilot. Um, well, pretty much because it was all new to us because we didn't know Beth at all, really. Helena killed them. Thank you. Very good. I promise I will I will freshen my mind about this show and I'll start remembering things. And yes, she got elected. Okay. Um, that was so funny, though. So funny. I love Helena. I hope that we see Helena next week because we did not see her in this episode. But I understand completely and I'm not upset about it because we... I think we, we needed to see this Beth backstory. Lauren says she uses different types of music as ways to separate the clone's personality. Like for Sarah, it's heavy metal. Allison is classical. That's interesting. I actually haven't read like a ton of articles, even though I've watched the show. But since I've never like done videos on it, I haven't researched it a ton. Um, but I'll definitely start doing that. So I didn't know that Tatiana did that. That's really cool. Very cool. Um, so what do you guys hope for this season? Like what... Who do you want to see more of or what do you think will happen? And I know that's kind of a difficult question because who knows? Because there's always, there's probably going to be something we can never even predict that's going to happen. Mark's never watched a show. Should you catch up? Yeah. Um, it's So it's a Canadian show filmed in Canada. Um, and it's on, I can't remember where you live, Mark. I think you live not in the U.S. But it's on um, BBC America here in the U.S. And somebody from Canada needs to tell me what channel or what, what, um, I guess channel it's on in Canada because they were talking about it last night. Um, so it's all on Netflix. Mark is in Ireland. So Mark, maybe you can watch that on Netflix, but I think it's really good. Um, it's really intense and I don't know how much time it will take you to catch up on it. Some of those shows like scream or like you can just watch them like so fast because they're not really in depth, you know? But I feel like this is more intense than that, or like way more intense than Scream Queens or Pretty Little Liars. But you could try it. I mean, this is season four, so I'm not really sure how many episodes they had in the other seasons. Um, it felt like they were kind of long, but I'm not sure. But, you know, try it. If you don't like it, it's no big deal. But I, have it was a show that someone recommended to me, and I got into maybe like a season late, and I really, really liked it. So, but as this is on the list that you sent me, uh, Yes, I saw you're saying that Orphan Black is on the fence. Um, I hope that's not true because I like I see conflicting things, and I know you mentioned the family, but then like I don't know the people with the show claim the family has amazing ratings, and then sometimes Rotten Tomatoes says that the rate the ratings are good for the family. So I, I have no idea, but like I really hope that it's not. I feel like Orphan Black has quite a big fan following, though. I don't know. You know, it's kind of hard, I think, especially for people here in the United States, because it's on a channel, to be honest, that a lot of people do not watch in the U.S., which is BBC America. It's not like FX or, you know, one of the main channels like ABC is not like one of the main networks. But PLL is very popular and it's on like kind of a side channel. Um, these would be devastated if Orphan Black got canceled. I really hope not. And I think it's good that 
you know, it's been on for a while now. And I know that doesn't always mean anything, but thankfully it's, it's been past, you know, the, the inaugural season. So yeah, I mean, right. I can't compare Orphan Black to Pretty Little Liars. I mean, they literally have zero in common, thankfully. Um, and the catch is something that I know, like Vanessa wants me to watch and a few others of you. And I tried to watch it and I just, could not do it like i didn't even get very far into the first episode which is definitely not giving it a fair chance but i, I don't know like it's just something right now where i feel like i don't want to watch it i know that's so terrible and it may be an amazing show but it's just like really hard to get me motivated to watch that for some reason and I, well actually i really think it's because the lead woman drove me so insane in the killing and i can't get over that and i know that's so silly because she looks nothing like she did in this show or she's a completely different character obviously but the killing literally killed me i don't know i stuck with that show for so long and i literally hated it don't know why i kept watching it finally gave up on it and i just have like bad memories of her from that show i guess um but I, i've seen like shonda is promoing the heck out of that show like she live tweets the catch every i think it comes on thursdays right they're really trying hard to get that off the ground um and since it's one of her shows you would think like it has a good future, but I don't know. So Tony kind of likes the catch, reminds him of Castle. So I know maybe one of these days I will give it a, a better chance and <clears throat> actually see if I would like it because I really haven't given it a fair chance to be honest. But um, so anyway, do you guys have any other questions or things, comments you wanted to make on last night's episode of Orphan Black? Because I know we've gotten a little off track here. Um, I'm very excited for it and. To me, like, Tatiana is kind of the person who makes the show, even though some of the supporting people are really good. I just think that if they didn't have her, I don't think it would be near as good. Like, she's one of the people, or she's the person that keeps me watching it. Like, I just love <clears throat> seeing the way that she handles each clone and, you know, each character. And I think they just, wow. I don't think they could have gotten anyone better than her to do that. Um that's such a good question. So Ben is asking, what do I think will happen with the original genome woman? So I think this is when um, they were like somewhere looking through books and stuff trying to find. It's like there's a picture of her floating around, right? So it would be the person who donated her eggs for this scientific experiment. Now, this is somebody, if she's still alive, that I feel like we will meet in the show, right? Is that is that what you guys are talking about? So. Is she technically kind of like the mom of all these clones? That's kind of what I was thinking. Like, she was the one who, like, donated the egg. And then why is it that um, Sarah can have a baby or had a baby and the rest of them can't? I forgot the reasoning behind that. So, yeah. I don't know. That's a really good question. That's something that they've discussed before that obviously wasn't discussed this episode, but will definitely be a huge part of her, part of it. Mrs. Smothers? I don't Oh, Mrs. S. Mother, Mrs. S. Is, Mrs. S.'s mother. We did meet her, so she was the the one who like was the person who donated the. She donated her eggs or an egg. Is that what it was? I've completely forgotten. And who is Arthur and Candle? Because I don't know. Is it Kendall? I don't know who those people are. I feel terrible. Um, Laurence and Sarah and Helena are the original twins, and everyone else are clones. Okay. I remember that now. Yes, I remember that. So because of that, Helena was pregnant, right? What happened? Did she have a miscarriage? I can't remember. So because of that, Sarah, so, but, but wait, wait, wait. How can, um, so that's why, that makes sense. Sarah and Helena can have kids, can reproduce, but the rest of them can't because they're clones. What happened to Helena's baby? Um, so she had two genomes in her that she donated when she was in prison. Now, I don't even remember that. You guys are rock stars on this show. Oh, my gosh. That's great. That's awesome. Um, yeah. So do you guys remember what happened to her baby? Because I, she's still pregnant. So interesting. Because she's having a baby with the crazy religious man. <laughs> okay. Right. Craziness. Um, so Vanessa thinks that Helena is in the hospital in the next episode. Okay. Thank you, guys. Um, wow. That should be interesting to see what happens with that. Because... You know, as much as I like Helena, I don't see her being a mom to anyone because, you know, she's a little bit, a little insane. <laughs> and that's putting it nicely. But she means really well, and she definitely loves her sister very, very much. So, Nisa's don't know if Sarah and Helena are the originals. It was never confirmed. Okay. 
but you know that would explain why they can reproduce and why other people can't. I really want to see a little Seastra. <laughs> then that's so cute. <laughs> yeah, but I wonder if she'll have a girl since um, Sarah already has a daughter. I don't know. So fun. So funny. Vanessa wants to know my opinion on the new clone. So far, I feel like she's kind of um, another version of Helena, but like a more sane version. Is that kind of what you guys think? So I don't know how much I'm going to like her. She seems a little bit off, and I think even Beth, mentioned she was a little off like something's not all the way there like she's kind of mentally 16 or maybe younger than that but she's more together than helena helena's like who knows what she's gonna do she's out of control um but she's not as funny as helena because helena's hilarious so you know i don't know i don't know if at some point it will get old to have more and more clones i don't know like how many more um clones do are we gonna have i mean i don't know how tatiana keeps doing it but like i wonder um, yeah, Ben thinks that MK is definitely more sane. Helena, definitely. I mean, I really got Helena vibes, but very low key because Helena is like 20 times in more insane than this, you know, than, uh, MK. You can just tell because, I mean, that, but that's what makes Helena awesome. Cause like literally you never know what this person's going to do. And she's, she's so funny. And I loved it so much when she had like that boyfriend. Oh my gosh. That was so cool. I mean, last season was really good. I think that was one of the better seasons. She just, she kills me. <laughs> um, hi, Adam. We've been talking for 26 minutes now, so that's okay. We'll talk just a little bit longer if we can still think of some new information to, so we're not repeating ourselves. But the good news is if you got in on this late, this shows up as a video on my channel um, just like five or 10 minutes after we're done here. So you can go back. You can always leave comments, um, and I will go back and answer those or questions or whatever. And there's also Crystal and Tony. Oh, my God, Tony. Yes. And Crystal, for some reason, is escaping me. Yeah, there's so many. It's crazy. I mean, who knows how many they could have. Um, if you are new here, if you are just watching this because you like Orphan Black, I will be covering the entire season four of Orphan Black. So if you would subscribe, that would make me so happy because I'm also going to have videos up as well as live chats every Friday. My video about this week's episode will be live tomorrow morning. Nice thinks they should stop with the Lita clones and bring more Castor clones. Tatiana is only human. She can't play every character in the show. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how many more people she can play. And as amazing she, as she is, how many more people can she play and make them different and totally unlike the other people? Because honestly, like we've talked about, Helena and MK are kind of similar. And then I think Beth and Sarah are kind of similar. So, you know, I don't know. Oh, Crystal from the nail salon. I liked her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was cool. She, like, didn't even know she was a clone, though, right? Okay, Adam, that's okay. Thank you so much for being here. Um, Yeah, so I, I agree. I just think at some point we can't have many more clones, but I don't know what they're going to do. Maybe they want to keep, you know, creating <clears throat> new people for her to play. I'm not sure. But as far as caster clones, I really think – we're going to see more of them this season. I definitely think because we haven't seen very many of them, you know, so definitely. Um, I don't know. But yes, <laughs> um, but we'll probably wrap this up. We have like it's two minutes and it'll be 30 in two minutes. We'll be, we have been talking for 30 minutes, so I'll probably wrap this up since it's a new um, season and there's not a ton to talk about right now. Um, but again, you can watch this on my channel if you showed up late and you missed some stuff. Thankfully, it'll all be there in like 10 minutes. Ben says, Crystal has to play Elena now, so she is definitely going to be back. Um, so that'll be cool. Yeah, I mean, I think that we will see other. Yeah, Rachel has to play Helena. It's getting confusing, isn't it? It's confusing, definitely. So, um, yeah, I know. If, to talk about Scream quickly, those of you who are waiting for Scream's return, which is next month, May 30th, um, if you follow them on Twitter, they tweet out little teasers, and I've been watching them. It looks really good, so definitely do that if you're excited for season two. If you haven't watched it, then watch season one because it was amazing. But I've been following all the people from um, Orphan Black on Twitter, so that's really cool. They do a lot with social media like pretty much every show does. So um, you can even print off those masks that they were wearing that MK was wearing. You could print those off online. I don't know if that's still up, but people were printing those off to watch. Um, in anticipation or celebration of the new season. So I thought that was pretty cool. So, but thank you guys so much for being here, especially since this is a new show for me. Um, and I am so happy that you guys came here and thank you so much for helping me 
fill in the blanks of what has happened in the past that I've completely forgotten somehow. But once you remind me, I'm like, yes, I remember that. Um, niece is wondering what's happening with Rachel and the little clone. That's a good point. I don't know. The little girl clone. I don't know. Great point. Um, but I'm sure we'll find out this season. But I'm going to let you guys go. But I really appreciate you being here. My video will be up tomorrow. Um, if you came late, this will be up in just a few minutes. So thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I love you guys. Bye.